Peace. This is Joel A. Hall, Antonio Hall, a.k.a. Doomsday, the Lava Pit Man. Yo, um, I wanted to talk to young people, man, you know what I'm saying, that are running around here in a state of ignorance who don't even have an idea of sagging pants. I'm telling, I'm, 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 I bring this up, man, because, you know, I did, you know, 15 years in the penitentiary, TDC, and, um, you know, me coming from, you know what I'm saying, prison, you know, I, I saw a lot of things, man, you know what I'm saying, that really, you know what I'm saying, messed with me psychologically, you know, um, prison is is a cesspool, man, you know, straight up, it's it's the closest thing to a, uh, a trash can, a toilet bowl, but one of the things that I saw in prison that really tripped me out, man, was dudes walking around sagging their pants, you know, in prison, you're deprived of, of, of freedom, you're deprived of, 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 uh, physical freedom but the one thing that prison can't take away from you is your mind but when you have no knowledge of yourself your godlike nature you know what I'm saying especially being of African descent when you have no knowledge of yourself of who you are you're the you're close you're the, you're you're you equal a, a cattle you equal a beast and a lot of brothers that were walking around in prison were undercover faggots, homosexuals. The worst kind of homosexual in prison are individuals that look like me. Muscle bound, work out every day, you know what I'm saying? Booty bandits. I have more respect for an individual that wears Kool-Aid on his face because he's letting you know straight up and down, this is what I am, you know? But a dude that run around here, man, looking like 50 Cent or looking like Shook Knight, straight up faggot, I don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? Now, during my years of prison, 15 calendar years, day for day, from 96 to 2011, uh, I noticed seeing dudes walking around sagging their pants. And I'm like, wow. Why is this dude walking around sagging his pants showing his drawers? And it dawned on me, not just by, you know, seeing, but also intuitively. It dawned on me that this individual basically is saying, I'm available. And that's where it all come from, prison. All you individuals run up around here, man, watching T.I. and all these so-called gangsters talking about, you know, that, um, they, the saggings, claiming that they quote-unquote gangsters, this style come from prison. And I'm going to tell you something, man. You know, you brothers walking around here, man, you, you have no idea, man, you know what I'm saying, that if you was in the penitentiary sagging your pants, I know dudes, man, literally that will knock your ass out, knock you out, Take your booty or fuck you. Or basically, you know what I'm saying, suck your dick. You know what I'm saying? And then, if it's in you, it's going to come out of you. You know what I'm saying? If it's not in you, then you're going to basically react and kill him. You know what I'm saying? Now, in prison, there's an old saying, you know, only the strong survive. And it's true. I was one of the, the, the elite. I wasn't gang affiliated. I was a loner. I didn't mess with nobody. I trained every day. You know what I'm saying? I tr I did I did all types of exercises. I trained for war. I didn't work out to be no bodybuilder. I didn't train to be no powerlifter. I trained for war. You know what I'm saying? I did various exercises. I even did things such as for my knuckles. I did knuckle knuckle push-ups. I did 
I didn't use no knives. I didn't need no knives. My hands were weapons. The most important thing that I needed for, for, for basically uh, war was my endurance, stamina. So when I got out there, whether the person knew karate, boxing, or whatever, I could out, you know what I'm saying, last him because of my, you know what I'm saying, my, my, my endurance. But not to turn this, this, this conversation into, you know, about fighting or fitness. You, you youngsters, y'all have no idea, man, at all, you know, and I really pity y'all. I'm mad with the mad, with the rap industry on, on how they just, you know, you hear you as you multi-million dollar, multi, multi-millionaire, and you, 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 you're sagging your pants, you're showing your drawers, your ass cracking, all that, man. I'm like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The reason why these youngsters are doing this is because... They see Lil Wayne, they see T.I., they see Ghostface, they see all these brothers doing this shit. And it's sad, man. Nobody's taking the time to, you know, educate these, these youngsters. You know, I'm from, I'm from, you know what I'm saying, New York, man. You know what I mean? I'm from, you know what I'm saying, an era, you know, where individuals, for one, wear baggy jeans. I'm still wearing baggy pants, you know what I mean? But I don't have to sag my 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 my, my jeans where you can see my drawers. I'm a man, first of all, creating an image of the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? Meaning I was furnishing a Tao given His nature. Meaning I'm God-like. I'm not the God, but I'm God-like. And our like God likeness, one of the qualities as human beings, is that we we were blessed with intelligence. Intelligence is applied knowledge. Knowledge that is applied. Common sense to tell you, man, you know what I'm saying, that you're not supposed to be wearing your pants like that, man. You know what I'm saying? In the penitentiary, when you wear your pants like that, you are basically saying that you're gay, you're homosexual, you're a fag. You are available for homosexual, uh, 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 homosexual activity. But you can't tell these youngsters that because they're so busy watching TV and they never take it upon they, th themselves to do homework. You know what I'm saying? T.I., all these rap artists who are basically sellouts, they're not interested in trying to educate or enlighten the youth. They're basically interested in trying to maintain an image Keep their pockets fat, their bank account fat. They're not really interested in trying to help the youth. You know what I'm saying? But after doing this this time, and after seeing what I saw in the penitentiary, I vowed before my to myself as well as to the creator that if he would just give me the opportunity, I'll disclose a lot of stuff that's going on in the penitentiary. The system in which we live in is not designed, you know what I'm saying, to prevent you from going to the penitentiary. They put all these glitters of gold in front of you, and you're not even thinking or not even seeing the plot and what's going on. It's a trap. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them individuals that made a mistake. But while I was up in that penitentiary, that, that cesspool... I didn't sit there and become the embodiment of it psychologically. I detached myself from it mentally or psychologically. And I stayed in them books. I read. I exercised my mind for 15 years straight. You know what I'm saying? I could have had sex with female officers. I could have did a lot of things that the, that the, the so-called penitentiary considers right. But I didn't do it. But for you young brothers that's running around here, Thinking that you gangster? Go on TDC with that. Or go to Rikers Island or any other pr prison. Sing Sing. Uh, San, 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 San Quentin. And see what they do to you, man. You know what I'm saying? If you can go in there, you got, you're good with your hands, fine. But understand this. The sagging pants. Study your history and find out where it all originated, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk.